Okay, you've got this Worcester ball now. It's got a leak coming from what looks to be the filling loop. So, oh. service on it well. Let's get it. Someone's already attempted to fix it. Look at the state of that. I think they were chewing on it. Right, get them, get that out. Get the new one in. That also looks safe, doesn't it? Take a look at that as well. Must have been hungry. Got to try and shut that off now. Theory, this should just pull straight out, he says. It out if you can see, pretty bad. Right, let's get the new one in. There's the new one, brand new. Let's get it in.
Burner pot. Missed the screw out. That's all good. Nothing's leaking. Let's try and test it. Set. Job one done. To get that screw back in there. Seen these hoses trapped in there like that before. Have a look at some of my uh, short videos. You'll see a, uh, a video on it where I took it off and it was trapped in there. Yeah. They come off easy. Wow. And this plate. It's not too bad, to be fair. That's the plate. out of the way and then take the electrodes out and normally around the electrodes is where it splits yeah put the camera back over here some point okay so now we need to take this plate off so we can get to the baffles inside and then we can clean this exchanger out and flush it through. So I 
plates off, literally just slides off. Um, you can see the baffles now. Get this one out first. See how dirty it is in there. Got to get that out now. So what we do is put a special tool for that, which is this. And what you do is put it down here. for a while. Inspect it, make sure it's all in good condition, which this one is. that one out and as you can see it's pretty dirty down there so this might be a bit of a problem to get it out but we'll see I might not be able to show this on video oh. I'll give it a go get your other tool this one
now we need to flush all that through. Just note something else as well. That grub there needs to go back in as well. Otherwise it's not a room sealed appliance anymore. So that needs to be done. Right, now to clean all this lot out. Lovely. Literally, just pour it in. And it all comes out. I'm going to squeeze a little bit in there as well. Just a little bit in there. Let's break all that up. Much better. I can't really get a decent picture in there, but for some reason it doesn't want to focus, but you can see it's clean. And uh yeah, it's pretty dirty in there to be honest with you, but getting a new seal on there now, get it all back together. Everything's back in. Just got to clean all this up. Fire it up and see what happens.
So just been testing this on full rate, um, which is absolutely perfect now. I've got the readings where I want, to, want them. But now we've got a pressure which is going too high, which is the vessel at the back it just needs charging up. So I'm gonna drain that down and then recharge it. <sighs> just when you think you're done. I'm just draining down. Out of the boiler only. And then we can fill or recharge the vessel. Back up. So I've got my uh, air pump connected to it. Drained it all down now. Just gonna pressurize it to about one, one and a half bar. Here it goes. <sighs> Job done. On to the next one.